Hello everyone, by now most of us would have used ChatGPT and understood the power of ChatGPT and probably you know use it on your day-to-day -day life to save a lot of time on your day-to-day -day activities be it for work or personal life. Imagine if we have ChatGPT that can understand your business information and respond to customer queries on your business information. It's like having an employee work for you 24 bar 7 responding to your customer queries all the time on behalf of you. That's what we've built for you. We've got a GPT powered AI chatbot that can be installed on Watermade platform which can run on WhatsApp leveraging ChatGPT's large language model. In this video we will look at how to set it up and how to use it. Let's dive into the demo. In order to set it up we first need the OpenAI API keys. Go to platform.openai.com and it will prompt you to log in if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, you might want to sign up a new account. You will get a free credit of $5. That is enough to get started with. But obviously, if you are using it for your business, you might want to switch to a paid account so that the responses are also faster. You have enough money to continue using the service as such. So in order to get the API keys, I'm going to click on uh, my profile icon and click on view API keys and I have to create a new secret key. Uh, let's give it a name demo and I'm going to click on create secret key. Now that I've got the secret key, I'm going to copy this, go into Watermate platform, click on integrations and I'm going to click on edit setup if you're connecting for the first time you might see a different call to action button here called connect I click on that and paste your secret key and click on save now that you have connected the api key the next thing that you want to do is upload your business data for chat gpt right now we accept two types of data formats one is text file and the other one is pdf if you have that information available, you can even, you know, um, copy the text from your website. If you have your website or if you've got a health documentation, um, you can just put it in a text file or a PDF file and upload it and we process that file behind the scenes for you. So I've already got a file that I can upload. I've set it up for that demo purpose. It's from a business called Creative Hearts. I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use this file. This file, I'm going to give it a name. This is just for internal reference. If you have multiple uh, documents uploaded, uh, just so that you know, you know, which file contains what data later on, if you're updating the data and things like that, you, you know, which file has that particular data as such. I click on import data. And um, since it's just one file and a small file, it's almost processed immediately. I would a notification for the same as well now that we've got these two things set up the next thing that we want to do is install the chatbot i'm going to go into communications click on automations and go to chatbot i don't have any chatbot installed previously um, if you are following along our tutorial series we have seen uh, other videos where we install other types of chatbots if you have already installed one you can select all of that and delete that first before you install a new ch chatbot so i'm going to install uh, a new chatbot by clicking on add rule and we've got a template set up for you already which is the customer service gpt for your business this is the chatbot that actually uh, passes the context of your business information to the large language model we've also got another ai chatbot let's say uh, you want to have a bot uh, that is an expert or you know um, kind of a topic based or role based bot that you want to create for your business um, that um, leverages large language models knowledge like chat gpt's knowledge you can use the second one but if you want to um, have a customer service or QA bot based on your business data the first one is the one that you need to install i'm going to click on install we have two rules installed we will get into uh, the details of the rules but on a high level the first one is the one like whenever a user types in a question or sends a message it is it will be passed on to 
uh, chat gpt and uh, with your business information and chat gpt responds and then yeah the response will be sent back to the customer as such the second um, one is let's say if the chat gpt cannot answer you can also instruct chat gpt to transfer the chat um, using a particular keyword that's what this one does um, in our platform it will move the chat from bot uh, to an assigned queue that your teammate or your customer service agent could actually jump in and action that particular chat for your business as such so i'm going to open the first um, rule just to see what it has yeah in this instance um, uh, our trigger is incoming message so whenever a new message comes onto your whatsapp number uh, we are filtering it based on the message type obviously the large language model at the moment at this point in time can only understand text it cannot understand image or video so we are only filtering and sending uh, text messages at this point in time and this is the prompt that we use right um, so here um, the prompt goes like this you're a helpful customer service assistant obviously this is prompt engineering depending on your goal uh, it could be like getting your prospect to book a trial with your business or uh, purchasing something with your business you can adjust the goal and adjust the prompt to act according to your business as such and we've got a placeholder for business name depending on whatever your business name is you can update it i'm just gonna use creative hearts so put it here as well and we've got the context this is um, the information about your business that will be passed on to chat gpt for response as such and we've also got other configurable parameters which are for advanced ones um, currently by default it uses gpt 3.5 but if you have access to and you want to use gpt 4 or any other model you can always update it and these are parameters um, at OpenAI on how you want the um, responses to be if you want the responses to be deterministic then you can adjust these parameters um, accordingly based on your need as such um, and this is the maximum tokens we've set it to 500 but obviously if you want a larger response um, for queries obviously you can increase the token but keeping it to 500 is good enough uh, on whatsapp as such it will look more conversational um, and then this is conversation history limit um, like the messages that are being responded how much of history do you want to pass on to, to the open ai following messages as such that's the limit uh, we've set it very low considering cost in mind but obviously if you want to increase that you can increase to whatever you want um, and we assess um, result limit and certainty um, so we use a concept called vector similarity search um, like based on the customer's question based on the data that you have uploaded how much certainty um, do you want to use to get the context of um, the information um, is this one we use 0.7 which is a good enough um, amount and then the result limit how much of context you want to pass on to open ai um, whether you want to limit to two results or if you think your business information will have more results and you want to pass more context information for better queries you can obviously do that as well increase it to five or ten depending on your need and the last one We've got here is in certain instance um, uh, if your context has very large information based on the file that you upload behind the scenes we actually um, break it down into smaller chunks and uh, create the embedding for you but obviously um, if you think the context is going to be larger and you want to summarize it using um, the completion endpoint this is the option for you in most cases you don't need it um, with just chat completion it's it's a lot um, cheaper uh, but if you want to use um, summary completion it will be a little bit expensive but the responses will be um, a bit better as well and again at the bottom you have um, uh, some more messages that you can pass on to if you think um, you know you want to give open AI examples of how your conversation will look like then you can add a few messages to uh, as messages free uh, to pass it on to OpenAI and OpenAI sees that and, and uses that in the response uh, messages as such as well. So now I'm happy with everything. I'm gonna go down 
click on save go to chatbot and the other rule uh, I'll just go into that and see what it is so basically what we are doing is we are using the trigger outgoing message if the outgoing message that OpenAI or ChatGPT responds uh, has the keywords like transfer the chat or transfer this chat then we are assigning the chat to unassigned queue clearing AI conversation history as well uh, just so that you know the next time pass on to AI it's a clear new conversation because the conversation is no longer with AI and it's passed on to a human uh, we're just clearing the conversation history of AI and uh, you, you might want to notify the staffs um, by sending a message that's the action that uh, this one does so you're sending a message notifying that someone uh, is waiting for your response uh, from what you platform as such that's what this does yeah okay now that we have set up um, let's um, dive into the demo right uh, we have set up everything uh, hopefully this should work I'm just gonna type in and um, yeah the new conversation is initiated okay I've, I've already receiving um, the response welcome to creative hearts which is the prompt that we saw in the rule as well maybe I can ask a question like what are the classes available for my fourth household? So the information that I've uploaded has um, uh, different classes for different age group including music and dancing and all the other information. Let's see if that comes back with the response as such. Yeah, um, it does respond on the business information. Um, yeah, it asks us to visit. Can I book a trial class? And the file would also have a link on the trial class. Hopefully, it should send me that. Yeah, it, it does send me. Uh, probably, yeah, we can just pick the file and insert the link and stuff like that. It also sends a uh, WhatsApp message number because that's the number that's given in, in the file now that we've um, seen um, the demo I can view all the conversations here as well on our watermade platform whatever conversations that's happening on the side by default it will be in the closed status and whenever AI transfers the chat to unassigned queue from here we can come in and send responses we can add tags and things like that for filtering the conversation that's it on this demo sign up for a free trial with watermate the link is in the description subscribe our channel um, to learn more about watermate and whatsapp automation and customer engagement as well thank you